Look at beautiful Harlem. Beautiful Harlem, baby. Woo! <laughs> What up, friends? Come on, my Kai Began. It's A and Mike. What's good, everybody, with my hometown Harlem world? That's right. <laughs> and we're in front of Dino Barbecue. I know we've been here before. I know we've tried it, but what we're gonna do today? We're gonna do something a little different for you guys. We're gonna get a little bit of everything from the brisket, the ribs, to the sausage. Exactly, and we're gonna get macaroni and cheese, of course. Now we've been here once before, and we enjoyed it so much, and we would love to share it with you guys. Let's get started. I've been here before where it hasn't been this packed. It's always packed. We have about a 45 minute wait and it's okay because it's still good and I'm pretty sure our table will open up anyway eventually, right? It's about a, I'd say 25 minute wait so it really depends on the time you come here. It's about 5 o'clock right now and it's still extremely busy and it's Sunday so you know what? A lot of people coming from church, a lot of people just having an early dinner. Might as well get everything in here, right? For the chicken, do you want the uh, lettuce eye or breast oil? The wing and the breast oil. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our food finally came in. It's really loud out here. I'm really hungry and I'm really digging the cornbread. I've always liked cornbread. Cornbread is pretty good. I've tried it before, but there's a few things here on my plate that I've yet to try. The brisket, every time we've been here before, it's always been sold out. So this is our opportunity to try it out. It comes with a little bit of jalapeno. And you guys know I love a good kick. The knife itself, it melts right through it. There's barely any cutting. Look at that. Take a little bit of jalapeno. It's just so good. Do you guys see that? Around the edges, a lot of that smoke. You can literally smell it and taste that smoke, but at the same time, it's so tender on the inside. Jalapeno, I was expecting for the jalapeno to be very spicy. It is not spicy. So first I'm gonna try the pulled pork. There's a lot of times I don't like pulled pork but it has too much of the sauce in it. I love these burnt ends right now. Check this out. These burnt ends are usually my favorite. It has a lot of locked in flavor in there. Let's try it out. It's so smoky. That is delicious. There's so much flavor packed in there. You can tell it was smoked for a long time. That's good barbecue. We have to dive into the mac and cheese, guys. This is the true test when you're having southern food. The mac and cheese means business. Look at that, you have a little bit of a gooey. I had a lot of high hopes about the mac and cheese because of the nature of the place. There is a little bit of kick at the top, but I feel like it could be cheesier and maybe a little tad bit of salt. It fell a little bit short, in my opinion. I'm gonna have to steal some Mike's food over there because I saw Mike loving his ribs, so I'm gonna dig it into those ribs right now. Let's break a piece right here. Look at that. Swiss. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. See this? See that? Yeah. This alone right here, that's what makes a good rib. That rub, and you can tell they use some of the brown sugar in there when it caramelizes. That's the best part of a rib. I'm gonna move to the smoked hot link sausage. There's a lot going on in here. You have green peppers, you have the sausage, it's smoked, there's a little bit of a crust on it. There is a sauce that's here. I can't make out what the sauce is, and I have a good question for you. What is this sauce that's here? It's the Creole honey mustard. It's actually one of my favorite things here. That sauce you have with the honey mustard, it's a light, light kick. It's not super saturated where it overpowers, and you can actually taste I think the green pepper is a little bit pickled. You can taste every single flavor from here. Really good. All right, so I'm gonna try this chickpea and broccoli salad. Now, this is something I wasn't really crazy about, but Mike told me I should try it. It has the same flavors that you would in a coleslaw. I love how crisp the broccoli is. It's not mushy, nice seasoning. You still have that nice crunch when you bite into it. Take a quick look, this is your rice. Very fresh, lots of vegetables. And you have a little bit of meat. It's like a meat overload. If you're a meat connoisseur like how I am, this is the place for you. 
This is the creamy potato salad. Mm. That's good. This potato salad is really creamy. You can taste celery in there, there's onions in there. I've always said this to you guys before, whenever you're eating like ribs or you're eating anywhere, the best way to determine how good your food is without anything, the way it came out, that's how you want to try it. That's it right there. I don't need to explain that. You need to come here and try that. I don't need to explain. It's that great. For sure. So I'm gonna dig in right now to this barbecue chicken. I got a quarter chicken with the wing and breast. And normally, I tend to steer away from this because see right now, it's a little too hard for me to cut through. And I wanna make sure that it is still juicy in there. All right, let's see if it's juicy. It's a little too dry for my taste. Take a little bit of the sauce and the uh, pickles. Pam, party at two. Your table's ready. Pam, party at two. I didn't expect that to taste that way. That glaze that they put on it really makes the sausage taste so different. There's a little spicy kick to it because now I'm feeling the heat. That's very interesting. I really like that a lot too. It would be better with rice though. The energy of the place is ridiculous. It was so loud in there. Everyone seems very friendly. One of the things I love about it. So overall, I'd say speaking of everything that I got, brisket was amazing. Moving forward to that rib, there's really not much to say. It is ridiculously good. Sausage was a pleasant surprise. The only constructive feedback I could give was the mac and cheese. It's a southern place, southern style, and it didn't have that creaminess and cheesy. It felt a little light on the salt, but outside of that, overall, I would recommend the place. There was a wait for the food. There was a wait to actually get seated, so keep that in mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it that thumbs up. Thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Down below. And let me know if you've ever been to Dino Barbecue before. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Salama, thank you. It's about an hour wait, and I just wanted to step out and do some B-rolls of the place, just to give you guys a feel of what it's like to be in Harlem, at least in New Harlem. It's amazing, look at this. You have the West Side Highway over here. We held our motorcycle ride, the beginning of it right here, as you can see beautiful down here um, if you're familiar with a lot of hip-hop music videos from back in the 90s a lot of it was shot in this specific area here really cool stuff a lot of stuff by Dipset a lot of Mace anybody from Harlem really cool and the place has grew tremendously it's beautiful now business is booming and this place is ultra popular I just thought I'd throw that in while I'm out here doing b-rolls for a thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel we really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking part in what we're doing. Here's to that 1,000. We're nearly there. So share the video with somebody that you think that will dig the food or what we're doing. And enjoy, man.